Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Lego Movie 2 set, Queen Whatever Wanabi. Or, sorry, introducing Queen Whatever Wanabi. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's supposed to be like, um, a sh like a different ver a different version of the words, um, whatever I want to be, whatever I want to be. It just figure it out yourself. <laughs> So, um, I don't have her in the horse form right now. I prefer this form. So I'm going to review this form first, and I'll change her to the horse form, and then show everything else, and then go from there. So, yeah. So here is the form of just the... I don't even know what to call it. Maybe it just like the plain normal form, since this is not, like, the shape of anything. <laughs> so, um, I'd say they did a pretty good job out <laughs> of capturing it. The back is a little rough to me, but it doesn't bug me that much. And um, I'll show you what this is for in a second. But um, this is a nice little crown mold, and I like how they just kind of fit it right on a perfect little spot. Um, the facial expression, facial expression, is pretty cool. It's, it's kind of scary at the same time. <laughs> I had it displayed over there for a second while I was building everything else, and it was just like staring at me, and I was pretty scared <laughs> for a second. <laughs> But, um, yeah. Um, anyways, now for that hidden feature, all you have to do is just take this off. Okay, remove this. Remove all of these. Put these in the front. Come on, work. And then slide this over one and just put the crown back on and there there you go you can have her with like an eyes closed expression um let me scooch my chair forward just a little bit more so i won't break my back there <laughs> um yeah honestly i prefer the eyes open expression one thing that does bug me is you can see it from the back but you're not really going to have it from the back anyways so it doesn't matter so now onto the horse form let me go build that so here is the horse form um honestly i don't prefer it this much i prefer like you know true colors i guess that's what you could call it but it is pretty cool and if some of you noticed there are some extra parts that weren't on the previous form and there are some parts that were on the previous form and not on this one um all of these parts are not used but you can interchange like the face facial expressions like make it eye closed give it a smirk i'm not going to do all that but yeah um so you can display the horse form on this little like roundabout or whatever it's called turntable that's what it's called right right no that, that's a dj thing right the turntable whatever it's a rotating little table one thing that does bug me is there's no expression on this side, but it's not that big, not that big of a deal. And let me just get this to like there. Okay. Okay, this will not stay on my base plate. Whatever, it's close enough. And sometimes this does this like it tilts and it makes it hard to move, but it's pretty cool. And it's a pretty cool two-dimensional build because there's like nothing sticking out from the side. It reminds me of like pixel art or whatever. And there's a little crown up there and these um, two little, sorry. These two little things are like the horse ears. I never noticed them on the box, but yeah. So let's move on to the banana. <laughs> so here's the banana. It just fell over as I like pushed the start camera button. And, um, it will not stay up or anything. It's, like, literally the most wobbly build possible. It might see something I would try to make when I was six and then cry because it wouldn't work, but, like, there. It, it, but it, it's, it stands on a base plate, and that's all that matters. So, looking up here, it actually looks like an actual banana. I really like it. And banana's, like, one of my favorite fruits, so, yeah. Um, what else? Um... There's a cute little tail right here, and you can probably recreate the scene with, like, banana keeps slipping. Wait, I, I'm not going to try to do an impression right now, <laughs> but, 
Banana keeps slipping on its... Oh my god, I can't talk today. Banana keeps slipping on its pee on the way out. You gonna bruise your whole butt. <laughs> I saw that scene on the commercial and it just made, made me want to see the movie even more. I don't even I don't even remember when it comes out. Somebody tell me in the comments when it comes out. But it's a pretty cool banana build. Um, there's no like alternate facial expressions. But you can like turn the eyes in different directions. Which makes it look funny, cool, whatever. And it's basically the same from the back. You can turn the feet, but it just makes it even more unstable sometimes. That's like the preferred thing on the box, but I just prefer it so it can like stand like this. So honestly, I wanna know what purpose this banana serves in the movie, like really, really bad, but don't spoil it for me because I know there was an early screening, but probably like none of my fans have seen it. So whatever. Let's move on to the figures. So the first figure is Wild Style, and one thing that bugs me is it it actually is like the original Wild Style from the first movie, but that might be some kind of weird throwback thing. I don't know. I do remember in the trailers. I don't remember if Wild Style had this the, the Apocalypse outfit or like this outfit when she met the Queen. Um, somebody tell me in the comments or if this is just like a cheap thing. Because I wouldn't be, like, shipping out, like, all the new figures in one cheap little $20 set, but whatever. So, um, she, like, has to have the handcuffs because, um, Sweet Mayhem is bringing her in. I like to call Sweet Mayhem General Mayhem, but I'll save that for when I actually review that figure. Um, looking at it from the back, I'm pretty sure it's still the same. No arm prints on this side, but there is an arm print on this side. And, um... She does have an alternate expression. I don't actually remember these expressions being on the original Wild Style. Front expression, back back expression. And the rear being so cheap where she doesn't have an actual hood piece, which I don't even think they're gonna be using that hood piece anymore because I don't remember it being on any recent sets. Yeah, so let's move on to Sweet Mayhem. So when I first saw Sweet Mayhem in the trailers, I thought she, I actually thought it was a he, I didn't even know the name really. He, I thought it was a really cool character, like, but just the one thing that turns me away is the, the face. I don't know, just the, the, the face. It looks really like threatening like this, but then with that it's just not as good. I mean, I don't know. But the cool part about the hair <laughs> is that it's like chrome. I've never seen this on a Lego piece ever. I've only seen this on like one kind of thing before. And the hair is actually like a s slightly rubber and it does have like a hole in the top. I love how they're incorporating like normal Lego minifigures and mini dolls. So yeah, that's what these are called, mini dolls. And um, pretty cool design for the gun piece. There's even like if she if, if she would let go of it, let go <laughs> instead of just attaching the stud to the gun, there's um this part too to hold, like hold it on more secure or whatever I don't know. Yeah okay there. And one cool part about the back is that she does have like these extendable extendable wings. Wow, wow, wow. So you can like extend those and this this is how they look from the front. Oh my god. Wow, I'm starting to hate this figure even more now. And you can just this actually is an included piece. I like how they do that. So you can like display the helmet separately or whatever. Although it doesn't do it on a base plate very well. It doesn't do it on like a actual surface. But you can have her hold the helmet, I guess. That's I can get it in her hand. I'll be, just take this off camera for a second. Hopefully this won't take too long. Uh -huh. There. So it does look pretty cool. Ah! Wow, she dropped it. I don't even know where it went. Um, yeah. But basically she would just like hold it in her hand. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm gonna go find her helmet and then we'll move on to, I'm pretty sure Rapunzel. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
Okay, I found her helmet, and I'm pretty sure this is this is Rapunzel. I don't know my Disney princesses. I'm like not into that. I mean, I used to be when I was like little. I used to be a Disney hit person, but not anymore. So I forgot all this. Um, I'm just gonna go with Rapunzel. To me, it looks like Princess Peach. Honestly, that's what I was hoping it would be when I first saw it. But no, no. And these are two little gold cups, which are cool. Blop that off to the side. The hair, I'm pretty sure, is actually a new mold. And it's made out of, like, rubber. It's actually a hard rubber. There, okay. And um, there's some, like, really nice golden, like, heart printing on her dress. There. And her facial expression looks kind of worried. I don't know why she would be worried. Maybe, like, Queen would have her eyes and, like, kill her, or she's worried about wild style or maybe wild style's about to kill general mayhem sweet mayhem whatever yeah <laughs> and a really nice cool little cape piece and i really like this mini doll dress piece looks so oh, sorry there it looks just it's the thinness that's what counts i'm just, like i like how it doesn't I don't know how to word this, like, for the, um, normal Lego minifigure dresses, they always take up, like, two, two, two studs, but this one only takes up one. There, okay. So, on to the ending. Okay, so for $20, whoops, I forgot the banana. <clears throat> I did not expect there to, that just adds to my, my, wow, <laughs> you don't know where this is, but... <laughs> That just adds to my point. I did not expect like this much stuff and like this much value for just like twenty dollars. Um, even better view. Um, yeah, I would totally recommend this set as a gift or like for yourself or whatever. It's pretty cool. I might actually consider this for like my little cousin, but technically this has like a lot of girl stuff in it, or a lot of girl characters, and he's a boy and he's like seven, so yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the set in the comments. Um, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.